the ego can corrupt anything. It can turn anything that is beautiful into something ugly. It could turn martial arts into combat sport. It could turn something peaceful in nature into something violent. So if somebody says that they don't compete in martial art, they don't enter competitions of combat, then they can very easily direct this competitive mindset, this ego, into something else to compete with. They can use this ego to compete in intimate relationships. Make themselves feel as if they're better than others because they're in an intimate relationship or because they are married and others may not be and it is a very sad thing when they use this ego to compete with others on having children and creating children I think it is very sad and could be even more destructive for society when people use the ego to compete with others on creating children where they do not have children because they truthfully truly do wish to have children from within out of love but they have children simply because they want to use the children to assert their ego and make themselves feel as if they're better than others who do not have children or as many children so they bring lives into this world that really are not wanted. They're just simply used as objects to represent their worth. And I think that's a very sad thing and it could be even worse than physical violence as far as com competitive fighting is concerned. When you bring children into this world to simply assert your ego, it would be better off that you direct your ego energies into something else where it does not affect an innocent child. So this child would be better off unborn. This person would be better off being in combat competitions with this ego this person would be better off practicing sport to assert this ego this person would be better off striving towards intellectual perfection to assert this ego so the ego could corrupt anything People go into religion with the ego to corrupt religion. So, there's so many different ways that people will just corrupt beauty in this world. People will corrupt love turn love into a competition and then it be, no longer is love so that is the problem it is the existence of this ego that is unmastered uncontrolled it is a person being a slave to the ego that is the problem, not understanding this ego, not knowing that one is being controlled by this ego. One can very easily 
think that he has his ego under control because he says he's refused to compete in competition in sport or in martial art or in combat sport but then he could direct this ego and compete in intimate relations competing with others thinking that he's better because he's married others are not competing with others because he has children and others do not thinking that he's better and then when others may have more children than he he may wish to compete and have more children so then he could continue to feel better so it could corrupt anything it could corrupt religion in the name of good people think that they are better than others cuz they do good people think they're better than others because they can follow the 10 commandments more precisely so the ego corrupts everything as soon as you stop one aspect one outlet of expression it just goes to another outlet of expression and turns it into something ugly so ultimately the goal is to liberate yourself from this ego to understand this ego and no longer be a slave to the ego you could identify it clearly and you are not identified with the ego you know that that the ego is not you it is a false sense of who you are so when you identify it then your life Would dramatically change then you'll see things clearly but until then you will be caught up in this competitive game and your ego will always strive to assert itself in different ways so the goal is simply to identify it and see what it's doing to you. Then you will reach a higher level of spirituality.